Hey, what's up guys? Hope you guys are doing good. You know what time it is. Picked up some more corals for my 150 reef tank. And uh, I'm gonna show you what I got. This time I ordered from a reefer called uh, Maria's Coral. Uh, and he has quite a bit of stuff. I found him on uh, Instagram, which there it is. And uh, I ordered a few things. Of course, as you guessed it, I did order a bunch of zoanthids. And I also ordered a uh, torch coral. Um, looks, it's gonna look pretty cool. And uh, it came in some nice uh, packaging right here. Um, there it is, uh, as you can see, rainbow troll, whole bunch of different kinds, infrareds, which I kind of had um, already, but a uh, different variation. And uh, hyper jubilee, which I used to have those before. Um, some of those people call them uh, bow tie browsers and all that but uh, as you can see picked up quite a bit of zoanthids and i'm um, going to be adding it to my reef tank and hopefully i have a lot of success and they grow out really well i want to know where you guys pick up your corals uh, like i said i picked this up this is my first time ordering from him he is a reefer and uh, i guess this is, this is just his uh, side hustle and so, uh, if you want to pick up a bunch of corals, you know, a reasonably good price, um, this is a great place to load up on a bunch of uh, zoas and things like that. SPS selection really doesn't have uh, too much. Maybe if you hit them up on the side, but on the website, um, there's not a whole lot of uh, SPS. But as you can see, I got some nice heads right there and... Uh, I got a freebie of white zombie, which is pretty cool. I already had one, but uh, that's m how much of a, a hardcore reefer I am, a Zoa guy. My whole tank is majority Zoas right here, but it's a great site, and uh, I would go ahead and place another order with him again. I ended up pitting the uh, frag plugs on the white disc that I picked up, and uh, hopefully they grow out and fill the disc up. And that way I can have a, a nice colony of a bunch of different um, colors and things like that. Instead of having a, a sand substrate, I have nothing but tiles right there. And I got lots of frags growing out. And as you can see, they are started off for like one or two heads. And now they're really taking over. And I, I'm going to have to start trimming them up here in a second. Um, plans later on um, is to have a frag tank running in my garage and have that whole thing full but uh, for now uh, this is gonna have to do of course I'd like to eventually buy a mini split system so I can cool down my garage and that's gonna be later down in the road but hopefully um, it'll be sooner than later and that way I can go ahead and have it nice and cool there's other things that I could do like put um, some fans on top of the uh, tank and just cool it down like that i'm sure that would work but how many of you guys actually have tanks or visited people that have frag tanks inside of their garage i know it's probably super humid in there and uh in the winter is probably like super cold so that's the only reason why i haven't um set up my 50 gallon frag tank it's a low boy and uh, i have everything to kind of get it started i just need to start like drilling it and everything but i haven't done that yet um, another on a side note I do have another spare tank I have like a uh, 30 something gallon tank and I was trying to set that one up and plumb it into my 150 reef tank but uh, the wife is kind of on the fence about it because she if uh, it looks ugly um, she's not gonna let me keep it so I don't want to set it up I got to kind of get it approved and and try to work that in in there the struggles right um, let me know what you guys think about that the good thing is that that little 30 gallon is it's not that big of a tank to me in my opinion so it can kind of get hidden away on the side uh, the problem is that it is inside of my house uh, so it might look ugly being connected to my main display now I did a video of the uh, wastewater running back into the main feed line of my RLDI system and uh, let me tell you I 
stopped doing that because um, the TDS was going back in there was like way too high. So I ended up just changing out my filters. I do have another plan and I'll, I'll give you an update on that a little bit later. Um, but instead of recycling the wastewater, um, I'm just running my wastewater into a big large container, a uh, brute trash can, it's like 40 something gallons. And then I use that to go ahead and water my grass or my, my plants or whatever I want. So it's a little bit better than, than what I did. Now my plan, you know, it, it seemed to make sense, but when I started doing like the TDS and all that, um, I was like, nah, this is not gonna work out. So maybe later on, I might get a uh, booster pump added to my RLDI system and uh, go from there. I really like this system. This was from the Marine Depot days and it has everything that I needed. This is the trash can that I'm talking about. It's like 40 something gallons. Instead of just dumping the wastewater into the yard, I put it in this uh, big old trash can and then that way I can go ahead and re recycle it and uh, use that bucket and dump it around to my plants and all that good stuff. It takes me roughly 60 to 70 um, gallons to of uh, wastewater to fill up my 30 something gallon uh, uh, RODI trash can. So this is all the wastewater from it and then I just collect it and dump it a couple of times. Let it fill up again and then I dump it some more and I'm good to go. All right guys man, well I hope you guys have a good one. Thanks for stopping by and checking out this video. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe and follow along for the next videos. Thanks guys, have a good one.